with the African Union to help maintain an atmosphere of calm after Qatar withdrew peacekeepers near the borders of Djibouti and Eritrea. Djibouti's accused neighboring Eritrea of occupying disputed territory. Our UN correspondent Rosalind Jordan has more from New York. The UN Security Council met in closed-door session on Monday to discuss the growing border tensions between Djibouti and Eritrea. The two countries basically had not been in a conflict since 2010 when Qatar agreed to act as a mediator and deployed peacekeepers on the border. After the closed-door briefing, the president of the Security Council addressed reporters about the situation. The Security Council heard a briefing today by the Assistant Secretary General for Political Affairs, Taye Brook Serihun, on the situation of the Djibouti Eritrea border following the withdrawal of peacekeeping troops of uh, Qatar. The members of the Security Council welcomed the African Union's intention to deploy a fact finding mission to the Djibouti border and look forward to working in coordination with the African Union to maintain an atmosphere of, of calm and restraint. The members of the Security Council called on the parties to resolve their border dispute peacefully in a manner consistent with international law. The members of the Security Council would welcome the consideration of future confidence building measures. The members of the Security Council will continue to follow the situation closely. However, Bolivian Ambassador Sasha Llorente would not answer a question from Al Jazeera about whether it was proper for Qatar to pull its peacekeepers from the border between Eritrea and Djibouti in the first place. Qatar had had peacekeepers on that border since 2010, the last time the two countries started fighting with each other. But however, they did not notify either of the countries involved or the UN Security Council before removing their troops a week ago Monday.